So suppose that phi from G to K is an epimorphism. That means it's a group homomorphism and it's onto. And H is a normal subgroup of G. We want to prove that phi of H is a normal subgroup of K. So what is phi of H? Well here, phi of capital H, this is a set, it's called the direct image of H. It's the set of all the elements phi of little h such that h is in capital H. So this is called the direct image of H. Let's go ahead and prove that it's a normal subgroup of K. So we'll start by supposing that we have some K in capital K and some X in the direct image of H. And what do we need to show? Let me, let me write it over here. We need to show that K X K inverse is an element in the direct image of H. So if we show that, we're done. We've shown that it's a normal subgroup of K. Well, since phi is onto, there is some element which we'll call little g in capital G such that phi of little g is equal to k, right? Because k is in capital K and phi is onto, uh, we can find a little g such that phi of little g is equal to k. And since x is in the direct image of h, we can find some little h and capital H such that phi of little h is equal to x. So what we've done is we've created a relationship between k and x and phi, right? Because we somehow have to use the fact that h is normal in g. So you had to kind of go back and involve g somehow because we have h and that's a normal subgroup of G. So now we'll just look at K, X, K inverse and, and see what happens. So then K, X, K inverse, this is equal to, well, phi of G, phi of H, and then phi of G inverse, right? That's K inverse. And phi is a group homomorphism. So this is phi of g h g inverse and this is certainly an element in the direct image of h and this is because h is a normal subgroup of g little g is in capital g and little h is in capital h and therefore this element here is in capital h so phi of that element is in the direct image so kx k inverse is in the direct image of h thus the direct image of h is a normal subgroup of k so i hope this helps